What's up, what's good? I'm getting you guys. It's me, Helia, Helia Greer, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, guys. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about all things social media kits and rate cards. As you guys know, I have an ongoing series on my channel called YouTube Namibia where I equip you guys with all the tools you need to survive and make money on the YouTube. But before we get into the video, I'm going to need you guys to give this video a massive thumbs up because you know the content's gonna be good and obviously I'm gonna need you to subscribe to my channel because why are you watching my content if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel you know you're gonna be here next week so you might as well just subscribe but without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> From the last episode which was how to get to 1,000 subscribers this episode will be focusing on what a social media kit is and what a rate card is you are gonna need these two items to sort of make money on YouTube and yeah YouTube is really really nice you can make money on YouTube but obviously you need to have the right tools and equipment to make money on the YouTube which is where the social media kit and the rate card falls in please do note that all the graphics used in this video were kindly sponsored to me by Reliant Trading. Reliant Trading is a graphic design company. They specialize in all things graphics. They've done my YouTube header, my intro, my outro. They've done my social media kit and my red card. And I love, love, love working with them. So they were kind enough to sponsor me with all the graphics I need for this video. And the nice thing is that um, they're giving you guys a discount. So the first 10 people to approach them will get a 15% discount off their rate cards and social media kit. So that's 15% off your social media kit and your rate card if you approach them, but it's limited to the first 10 people. I'll leave all their info in the description box down below. Please, please, please do make sure to check them out. They have a Twitter page, they have an Instagram page, and they have a website. So please, please, please do check it out and be sure to be quick about it because obviously the discount is only limited to the first 10 people that approach them after this video specifically. And please do say that you were referred to them by HeliaQ so they know exactly uh, where you're coming from. But without further ado, let's just get into the video. So what is a social media kit? A social media kit is basically a CV for your online world so if you're a youtuber instagrammer influencer brand promoter whatever it is that you do this is an essential tool that you need in order to be able to work with brands it basically tells you what your name is your email address what you do different products that you offer how you do them how you live your life you know that kind of thing and obviously it's essential for brands to know all those kinds of things because they need to know who they're associating their brand with and obviously with the rate card i think the word rate gives it away it's how much you charge for different products and services that you offer be it posting a story on instagram or posting a video on youtube or reviewing a product that kind of thing but i'm going to be illustrating to you guys different ways in creating a social media kit with the aid of the um, sample products I got from Reliant Trading. I'm going to be putting them over here uh, which is why I'm sitting a bit to the right of the video which is your left but yeah let's just get into doing that. I'm going to be showing you guys through the use of a Jane Doe media kit which Reliant Trading was kind enough to put up for me so I've decided to focus on a beauty and lifestyle youtuber because most people on YouTube tend to do beauty and lifestyle so I'm gonna do that and then at the end I'll show you guys a different design or a different alternative to that that I've presented in the beginning so as you guys can see this is the cover page the cover page is just gonna have your photo and basically your name and it's going to say that you know this is a media kit so you don't necessarily need to have one photo you can have two photos or three or four depending on the design you want but in this video i'm going to be using the social media kit which is a jane doe version that was just put up for this video um we made up the person the person isn't real they don't exist so it's just for illustration purposes but essentially you can see that on the cover page it has her name which is la fleur or la fleur for this <laughs> video I'm just gonna call her LF um, and then it says beauty and lifestyle you don't need to have beauty and lifestyle 
on your media kit you can decide to not have it on there really it just depends on the person and what the person wants the second page in this example is really breaking down the key points of what this youtuber slash blogger focuses on so for here we know that she's a beauty and lifestyle youtuber so she'll be into things of you know fashion travel um, beauty makeup all that kind of stuff so as you guys can see it's listed nicely in bullet points and it sticks out to the brand so that when they look through the your media kit they can see exactly what you do and what your brand is about which is why again it's so important to know what your brand is about so if I say you know Helia that youtuber what does she do I need to be able to say I do X Y and Z which is what this beauty blogger has done and then obviously above that you can see statistics um, these are different statistics that you get on Instagram on YouTube they include the people that watch your videos where are they located are they located in Namibia are they located in South Africa are they located in America you can break it down into different parts of the world and then you can break down the different ages obviously like what age range watches your video is it more children or teenagers or young adults or old adults you can break it down and then obviously your engagement as well how many views on average do you get per video or what is your engagement rate how many people comment on your videos all that kind of stuff that is what statistics are it's so easy to get it on youtube you can get it under your studio uh, beta and on instagram you can obviously get it if you have a business profile and reliant trading is so nice because they basically just you give them everything and they have an average for you so they work it all out you don't need to stress about that but yeah so essentially that is what is on the first page and then obviously just something about yourself who you are why you're a youtuber why you're a blogger when you started doing x y and z just so that the brand can get to know you a bit and as you can see she added a bit of you know photos so that the brand can feel at home you want them to feel like they know who you are and that they're in your life and they can picture you with their product so it's also nice to have like a lot of visuals and make them feel like they're at home and so forth but moving on to the third page you can see that the theme is more or less the same and she goes deeper into you know explaining what she does where she sees herself in the future you know where she sees herself from you know today where where she's gonna be in a year from now and what does she plan on doing you know and, and then you can see that her numbers are also on the page so how many subscribers does she have how many youtube followers does she have you know how many instagram followers and twitter followers does she have so those kinds of things are really important because it shows the brand that you know you have some sort of influence and i just want to emphasize that influence is not necessarily having a lot of subscribers you don't need to have a lot of subscribers to have influence they are influencers that think that they influence but they're actually not influencers so you can have 1,000 people liking your photos but literally zero people commenting on your post that's not influence influence is me wearing this spaghetti top and I go out and tomorrow there's 510 people wearing the same spaghetti top or you know 510 people commenting down below that oh my god I love that top where did you get that top from or oh my god I love this about the video you know it's all about engagement and brands do love that so numbers don't necessarily mean influence that is just something key that most people don't know so you can be a youtuber that has 500 subscribers but is making easy money on YouTube because your engagement is so high which also brings it my other point of please do comment on my videos you know it really helps when you comment on my videos it shows brands that you know I have an engaging audience you know an audience that cares about my videos an audience that watches and really wants me to improve on what I'm doing so yeah you just have that and then obviously you also have the contact details on the page which is your email your cell number if you live in two different countries like for me for instance in my kit i have my namibian number and my south african number in case a brand wants to contact me and then your email address and those kinds of things and then that is it for the social media kit so moving on to the rates card um as i did mention before you can decide to have them both in one document or you can decide to have your rate card in a different document to the social media kit i personally have them in two different documents because i have my own personal reasons for that uh but yeah as you can see it's broken down into youtube um, money twitter money and instagram money because some brands are only interested in working with you on youtube and then some brands are interested in working with you on instagram 
and you can see that it really breaks down the different services that this you know youtuber or beauty blogger focuses on so they have sponsored posts they have product reviews they have um, Instagram posts or whatever and underneath all those things there's a description of what each and every single product is doing so for instance on instagram if you're saying instagram post then you need to really go into detail of you know i will be posting x y and z on my youtube and it's going to be aimed at increasing traffic for your page or you know giving you this this is how you're going to benefit from it and this is how i'm going to benefit from it so, so i think it's very important to show what each of the different services that you're offering are aiming towards because some people People, you know just want the brand to be seen some people want traffic for their pages some people want um, exposure there's so many different things that brands want so I feel like it's so important to make it very very clear what each and every single service that you're offering is aimed at right and then obviously at the bottom of the page you see this thing that says um, brands that I've worked with or brands that I've collaborated with so that's basically just for other companies to see that oh my god okay this person has worked with Mac for instance or this person has worked with um, LA Girl Pro or this person has worked with this specific brand or whatever it's also nice to have that reference so that when they call for instance you know this brand and say listen I'm interested in working with LF you know was she a good client or just to show people that you kind of know what you're doing and you're not just doing it for the sake of doing it and then also another thing that I have on my card specifically which isn't on the sample is that I have payment terms so I know that when I start working on a product you need to pay me 50% of what I'm charging that's it I don't even pick up a pen I don't start writing no ideas nothing without a 50% deposit and then for me the other 50% is paid off after I've done the work and I give you a minimum time of two weeks to pay it. otherwise I start charging interest every day and that's just that on that but obviously you can have different payment terms not all our payment terms are going to be different and I also just want to emphasize that these are not the prices that I charge specifically on my channel you know um, I know what I'm worth <laughs> so I charge what I'm worth and I charge the effort that I put into my content but yeah so you can have that and then obviously I'll just quickly show you guys the other option that Reliant Trading also offers which is a one page media kit essentially three pages your cover page your um, page with all the information and then your rate card so the example we're using here is blue you guys can see this is the cover page and what's different about this is that with the first page of this kit is that all the information you need is on one page so that's one page fitting in all the info you need so her youtube numbers are here her instagram numbers are here who she is is here you know her statistics are here and then on the third page is her rate card which is how much she charges for different products and so forth so it's all up to you how you want to design your media kit but please 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 do note that the three page media kit which includes a cover page one page with all the information and a rate card is 199 from Reliant Trading that's 199 Namibian dollars which is 199 rands and then the other one that I showed you in the beginning of LF that is a five page media kit and that one goes for 399 Namibian dollars which is 399 rands essentially it's your cover page um, three pages worth of info so whatever info you want in your social media kit chuck it in there and then the fifth page being your rate card so that's 199 for a three page media kit and 399 Namibian dollars for a four page media kit I really really think that you guys should take up the discount offer which is 15% off limited to the first 10 people that approach Reliant Trading and say that they were referred to them by Helia it really saves you so much money and it's so so important to have when approaching brands or when a brand approaches you and they ask you for your CV this is essentially what they're asking for when they ask you for a CV so it is important that you have a media kit and it is important that you have a rates card so that you can make your footprint in the social media industry and start making bank as I said social media is an on growing industry and you want to get on that right now before it is 
too late but yeah thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope this has been useful and helpful to at least one of you guys if it has been helpful to at least one person then i know i've done my job but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video obviously don't forget to like my video because the content was banging and comment down below if you're looking into having a social media kit or a rate card and you're sort of having trouble with it just comment down below and i'll be sure to help you out in the comment section also don't forget to subscribe because you're going to be back here next week watching my content again so you might as well just subscribe to my channel but yeah i'll see you guys in the next episode of youtube namibia where i'll be speaking specifically about how you can use the rate card and the media kit to approach brands and make money on youtube but other than that i'll see you guys in my next video bye